I just tell you what, you know, it's David versus Goliath, his team, and Doug working so hard, and we just beat the best team and the driver in the world, and they still are the best team and driver in the world, but for, for us to beat him one night is, is uh, pretty amazing, and we're pretty proud of it. As far as the whole night, a lot of drivers were scratching their head, kind of a different track, different temperatures, this hot wind thing. You and I talked about earlier this evening, it's tough to set cars up for this racetrack. Well, you just, you're right, and it was a real driver's track. It was rough and heavy and slick, and uh, I just kept telling myself, keep the tires underneath you. I know Donnie's really good at keeping his tires underneath him until traffic, and actually when we got to traffic, I was happy because I moved down and the car felt really, really good, so I knew he was running the bottom there in one and two, but, uh, you know, it's hard to change your line when you're leading, and, uh, you know, we went down there maybe to block him a little bit and see I felt pretty good. It's kind of hard to decide where to run. I just can't thank Doug and Austin and Brad and Carson and Steve Fitzpatrick helping us out tonight, my old crew chief. And all the sponsors on this car means so much to us, like I said. And to beat Donnie Shots at Knoxville is uh, something we dream about and have been able to do very many times. And uh, pretty special, like I said, for this team. I got to thank Jeff and Stacy here tonight with Snowplow.com, Country Builders Construction, uh, Rick and Barbara Destiny Motorsports, Chris Balding, Phil and Vivian. I hope everybody goes out to the front row challenge. <laughs> but uh, Bosma Poultry, Lauren Bosma is getting us a new truck. He said we run top three tonight. So Rossi Feeding Grain, Sears World Telephone, Don Long, Sean Phil, All Pro. Everybody makes this thing happen. And CM Rock Angler and uh, Ryder for giving us a great engine. And these new Maxim cars, we're slowly getting them figured out, like I said. And uh, 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 Renz Trucking and Octane Inc. Uh, for giving us a. Uh, uh, such great decals and making this car look so good. We're, we're pretty excited about our nationals program and uh, this means a lot if you can win this thing you or run up front even you feel like you, you're, you could be decent for the nationals. So I got to thank Snyder Landscaping and uh, who's retired but it makes this thing possible but uh, thought all these folks you know we couldn't make it happen. Uh, Hinchman Racing, Bell, Justice Brothers, my buddy the Gillen Enterprise has been around this track for years and years and years and I'm fortunate enough to have them involved with us. Yeah, it was awful good. He did a great job. It's uh, This place is tough to be out front leading. Sometimes you're in the catbird seat when you're running second and uh, I thought I had the catbird seat but uh, we didn't you know Terry did a great job had a fast car made all the right moves at the right times and um, you know we learned something from that that's good uh, obviously things are a little bit different around here so uh, we got to adapt to them changes and try to get ourselves a little better yeah you know we had a little rough night but that's just this team is they just keep digging hard and they were able to, to overcome it and um, really felt like we maybe had some for those guys you know on that last red there and I just I made a mistake as a driver and spun the tires and let had to get back by uh, Dusty and the five car there so uh, to be on the podium with these two guys is nothing to be ashamed of we'll come back tomorrow with this Casey's General Store FEP car and Charlie Garrett injured and try to try to get up front third place finish for Brian Bramble